The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Hey all, welcome to the Daily Tope. It's uh, tilt time, and you know what that means, don't you? It means it's time for the bud of the day. So, uh, hey, today's bud is grape mist. And I gotta tell you, man, this is some uh, really cerebral sativa that will just keep you laughing all day. And I, I gotta tell you, man, this stuff is so piney scented that uh, uh, I tell you, you put it in three bags and shove it in your pocket and you can smell this shit a mile away. This is some really, really clean stuff. Uh, boy, I don't know, I don't know what I like best. The, the, uh, the real heavy stuff, the sativa or the couch potato, you know, indica stuff. You know, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I like to mix them up, but hey, anyway. Hey, let's get to the show, huh? Today, I want to talk to you about the truth. You know, I mean, what is the truth anyway? I, I mean, how do you gauge the truth? You hear all kinds of crap all day long. I mean, when do you know it's crap? I, I tell you what, I'm, I try to be informed. I try to stay abreast of what's happening in the world. And, uh, but you know something? It, it's tough sometimes, you know? You hear this, you hear that. Uh, these people, uh, you see them on TV, you know, and stuff. and. Uh, you know, just when you think you're going to hear something important, they start attacking each other. Uh, you know, it's something. I, I was just talking to a good friend of mine last night about this. And we were talking about how the government used to protect us and stuff. And, you know, I don't know if that was the truth or not, whether they actually protected us or not. You know, I, I mean, I've been around for a while, and, you know, there's some really unusual stuff going on right now when it comes to uh, uh, the invasion of this country. And, uh, you know, I'm just wondering if the truth to our government protecting us is that our government never really protected us. It's just that now we're being challenged by uh, certain groups and, man, they seem to be right down on the border uh, crossing over on a daily basis in fact, uh, my reports are uh, they're seen all the time crossing over, and they're not uh, uh, Mexican nationals. They're carrying prayer rugs. They're Muslims. You know what I mean? And uh, slowly but surely, they're, uh, they're pushing the envelope on how far they can get into this country. And you think I'm full of shit? I tell you what, it's coming. You know? That's the truth. And uh, boy, they want us dead. That's the truth. You know, if you... If you go outside of the uh, uh, of this country, if you try to inform yourself uh, through other uh, media outlets other than uh, you know ones in the United States, you sure hear a different story. And so you gotta wonder, you know, what the hell's really going on? I mean, it's like Katrina, you know, uh, something of that magnitude hit. Fuck, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. You know, the government didn't know what the fuck was going on. It was clear as day to me. You know, but then again, I don't know, you know, was it the truth? You know, I don't know, I saw some pictures, you know, but gosh, you know, I, I saw the, the, the second airplane fly into the uh, World Trade Center. Did that mean it's real? I don't know. Is it the truth? There's a lot of people out there saying no, that we were directly responsible for the destruction of that tower. But I don't know, is that the truth? Is that what you think? I mean, what is the truth, man? Lay it out there. Put it in the comment box, I guess. I mean, what, what, do you got something else to do? Oh, oh, take a hit first. <laughs> I tell you what, there's some other truths that uh, I'm wondering about too. It's like this whole, uh, you know, racial thing. If, uh, if one group says something, I mean, they're gonna get fired. If another group says it, nah, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal. But you know something? That's bullshit too, man. There's no truth in that. There's no honor in that. You know, it's like this Don Imus thing. You know, he gets fired and everybody rejoices because he said nappy-headed hoe. 
I mean, is that ridiculous or what? He said right in his contract he had to be controversial, and by God, he was doing it. This is an icon uh, that's been around forever, man. But here's the deal. Fuck Don Imus, right? So what? He loses his job. But here's the problem, man. A whole lot of other people lost their job that didn't say Nappy headed hoe. How about that? Truth is, we're gonna go see a couple people today that were fired from the Don Imus show. In fact, they uh, play some great blues, you know. I, you, you hear this kind of stuff, uh, you know, you run into it on the street somewhere, like in Chicago or something, or, or even New York, or, you know, it's just uh, amazing hearing these guys. And, uh, you know, uh, they were regulars on the Don Imus show. And uh, now they're shit out of luck. I mean, what did they do? What did they do to deserve that? I don't know, man. Sometimes the truth's a fucked up thing. But hey, you know, depends on how you look at it, I guess. Anyway, with that said, that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're going down to Picker's Paradise and we're gonna see little Sammy Davis and Fred Scribner and uh, they were regulars on the Don Imus show and unfortunately these guys don't have a job anymore. But you know something, in the big scheme of things, Don Imus is probably going to come back with triple or quadruple the salary on satellite radio and I'm hoping for you guys, uh, Fred and Sammy, that uh, you know, they give you the call back and uh, we're back in, or you're back in business. That would be cool, huh? Anyway guys, uh, with that said, uh, let's go down and, uh, you know, take a listen, huh? They're going to play us out today. Uh, you can find a whole bunch of them on the, the Pickers Paradise channel, and I really suggest that you go over there and check it out. And hey, man, if you like it, hit the su subscribe button. Hey, why not, huh? I really believe we should support each other on YouTube. I mean, you know, these people that are just too snooty to, uh, you know, have a mutual support going for each other. I don't know, man. I mean, I think that's the reason the world's all fucked up today as it is. You know, I mean, we should all support each other. We should all support our our efforts and our talents and, you know, all that good stuff. But anyway, hey, it's time to go down to Picker's Paradise. I tell you what, guys, it's been fun. I'll see you next time on the Daily Toast. <laughs>